Hi, my name is Bradley Knapp, and I'm a product manager here at IBM, and I own all of our SAP certified infrastructure that runs an IBM cloud. And one of the questions that we get a lot from people who are at the very beginning of their SAP journey is, what is SAP HANA? Why is it important? You guys talk about it all over the place, but you never tell us what it is. And so SAP HANA is an in-memory database, and HANA is actually an acronym. It stands for High Performance Analytical Appliance. And the idea behind it is that it's a database that is orders of magnitude faster than any traditional database that you can buy that runs on a disk. Why does that matter? That matters because you have all of these different pieces of the business solution that are now feeding data back and forth, right? So you've got a database that's constantly ingesting data from all these different sources. You've got all the traditional business sources that you're bringing data in and out of, right? So that's going to be your contracts and uh, sales data, all of the normal stuff, things that you've been bringing in and out. But you've also got UX and UI data, right? You've got information that's coming into and out of your website, into and out of your forms. And then you have the proliferation of mobile data. So that data, that's coming out of mobile devices, not just from your customers, but also from your workforce, right? As our workforce goes increasingly mobile, you've got more and more information that's coming from those data sources. And then you've got all of the machine learning pieces, right? So what good is data if you're not going to do interesting things with it? And so you've got machine learner that's both reading from and then writing to that HANA database. And then you've got the IoT sensors, right? We've got IoT sensors in everything now. You might have IoT devices in your factory, IoT devices in your warehouses, IoT devices at your points of presence and points of sale. IoT sensors are everywhere. And so you've got this massive amount of data that's all coming in and you need a database that's able to handle it. That's why HANA exists. HANA is the core of your digital enterprise. It is the core database that everything feeds into. And why does that matter, right? So over here, let's talk about S4 HANA. So S4 HANA is the application suite that goes around it, you know, and so you've got three fairly normal components that go into it, right? The first one is going to be your ERP, the traditional SAP product, the one that everybody knows about. But you've also got the CR RM piece and you've got an SRM piece. These are all important components of that S4 HANA deployment. And then you have the really neat part, right? That's the piece that sits right here in the middle that is the NetWeaver stack. NetWeaver is an application platform that you can deploy applications onto that talk back and forth with this HANA database. And so not only do you have the data sources coming in and out, but now you've got all the applications that go along with it. And so you've got applications that run on the NetWeaver platform that come from SAP directly, but also anyone can develop on top of that NetWeaver platform, right? So a third party, a business partner, a consultant, anybody can develop an application that's specific to your needs that goes along with the NetWeaver platform. And why does all of that matter? Well, what good is data if you aren't going to do things with it, right? Right? Otherwise, it's just sitting out there. It's data in a warehouse. It doesn't matter. And that's where we start talking about the analytical pieces. And I like to break the analytics piece up into three levels, right? So your first level, that's going to be your tactical level. That's going to be your business objects, right? That's a WYSIWYG editor where any employee who's got access to the system can go out and put together a query to get the data that they need to do their job. The second piece is what I like to consider the enterprise level, right? That's going to be your machine learning, your Leonardo, your Watson. That's where you're using artificial intelligence to go out and actually gain important insight into your data that otherwise you might never know about. And then that third piece is what I like to think of as the strategic level. That's going to be your digital boardroom. So that's your C-suite and your board of directors that want the top-down enterprise level view of what's going on in your system, what's going on in your factories, but they want to look at it at a strategic level. I want to see all of my factories at once, all of my warehouses at once. And then I want to be able to drill down into, oh, all right, well, I see that we've got a little bit of an uptime issue at this particular factory, or we've got some sort of a hang up in this warehouse, or at this piece of our inventory system, or this piece of our logistics trail. And they can take and go from that very high level and then start drilling down into it piece by piece so that they can take the insight that they need to make those strategic level decisions.